Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Business Insider comes with an article telling us that Evgeny Prigozhin, the big mercenary guy, uh, who's not credible whatsoever because he's a bad dude, um, says something so stupid uh, that I don't believe that he said it, according to them. Now, if he said it, that can't be but uh, some uh, disinformation coming from him, or he's dumb as a rock, I don't think he is, but nevertheless, uh, or these guys just interpret uh, something that he say in a way that make him look very bad. What did Prigozhin say? So, according to Business Insider, which is a very trustworthy uh, news outlet, and on April 16th, 2023, Prigozhin said, look, first, they call him Wagner Group leader. They don't call him Wagner mercenary boss or something like they used to do. Why? Because this is a way of uh, building uh, legitimacy. Like, oh, he's a, he's a leader of the Wagner Group. Uh, if they want to uh, uh, subminate his or you know, decrease his authority, he would say Wagner mercenary group chief or something like that. So, Wagner Group leader says a Ukrainian counteroffensive would likely succeed as Russia is in crisis, report says. If this guy would make this kind of... Uh, what's up, buddy? If he would make this kind of claim, he would not be alive, according to the same guys that tell us that Putin kills each and every person who says something that he doesn't like. Well, I think this is very much something that he was not supposed to. All right, and don't give me uh, Putin needs him. That's why he doesn't. What do you mean? He's gonna just hang this guy, and the uh, next one is gonna take take charge. He's gonna continue because that's a second guy in command, and a third guy, and a fourth guy, and so on. Who wants to take this place? Don't worry. So the second one will get the hint, and will never, ever, ever again say such such something like this. So let's see what this guy said. I don't speak. Uh, Russian. So let's see. The Wagner Group leader, ooh, that's a nice put, criticized Russia's deep state in an essay published Friday. Oh my God, how are you still alive? Don't give me that he challenges uh, the, the Russian military. The Russian military can squash his Wagner Group mercenary in uh, 24 hours, like the whatever that was the Night of the Long Knives. Don't, uh, you know, you have Yeni Prigozhin said a Ukrainian counter-offensive is likely to succeed as Russia is in crisis. You see, I want to see, I don't, as I said, I don't speak Russian, so I don't know if he really said that or just crisis. And this guy said, oh, crisis, let's, now let's build a sentence around crisis. That's how sometimes it works, my friends, if you know what you're talking about. Oh, he said crisis. Okay, let's build the whole sentence. This could be just an invention, but he used, yeah, he really said that. Crisis, it's a quotation mark right there. But he urged Russians to keep fighting and ignore the elites who want to cut losses per Sky News. Okay, so Sky News reported that. Another trustworthy. Anyway, uh, so ignore the elites. Who might be the elites? Is Putin an, an elite? I think he is, Prigozhin. So that means you tell the Russians to keep fighting and ignore Putin? How are you still alive, my man? The Wagner Group's leader, again, third time, warned that Ukraine's planned counteroffensive is likely to succeed after criticizing the deep state of Russia in a lengthy essay published on Friday. Let's see. Uh, okay, da, niet, okay, I got it. A translation anywhere? Excuse me, excuse me, sir. Anybody? That's a long one. So I don't know, maybe some uh, Russian speaking will read this one. Get out of it. So. Uh, Yevgeny Prigozhin, the founder of the Russian parliamentary, oh, parliamentary unit now, it's not a, not a mercenary anymore, it's just parliamentary, said that the country was in a state of crisis, according to Sky News. Prigozhin also criticized Russian state elites, we heard that five times already, who he said, and I'm quoting, operate independ independently of the political leadership, also put in his political leadership, of the state and have close ties to their own agenda. Whoa, 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 time out, time out. So you're saying that Putin is the victim and the elites are cutting Putin's legs. Otherwise, you will be exterminated by now by evil Putin. Is that what I'm getting? Because see, see criticize Russian state elites. They operate independently on the political leadership, which is Putin, obviously. Prigozhin wrote that Ukraine would launch a counteroffensive and would likely break through Russian defenses as the country's military operations have been weakened by the decadent elite. 
according to the telegraph or maybe he just tried to find a uh, a uh, how should I divert the attention from the these guys right here well not those guys all of them from these guys and divert it to uh, the where are they uh, my god to this all right maybe that's why probably he actually says um, decadent elite the institute of study of war i used to trust these guys but um, uh, based on their reporting i don't anymore sorry and uh, it's that when that happened when they reported on that uh, if you remember the shelling of those azov uh, battalion uh, prisoners that they didn't know who did it and then they say well the russians did it without providing any evidence and i said okay <laughs> no investigation you just say how do you know anyway it's more to that i made a video on that a us-based think tank warned that some coverage of prigozhin the essay has been miscontextualized and that much of the nuance is his idiosyncratic rhetorical and writing style okay how many people know what this means okay i uh, have uh, kind of like an understanding a general understanding but anyway I understand what this is i don't i know what this is i know what that is but all together kind of too deep for me is lost when translating russian oh my god there you go see what they say here basically i i know basically what i think they say is hey he speaks in uh certain kind of terms that we understand whatever we, we want from the translation into english i think this is uh damage control in case People like me say, uh, people from uh, Institute of the Study of War and whatever they said before this is just a little bit too weird, you know what I mean, a translation. But hey, a Russian-speaking person can uh, read it and understand it just fine, I think. Prigozhin, who has been a highly visible figure throughout the course of the Ukraine war, called, Ukraine war called on Russia to commit to a decisive fight that would either defeat Ukraine or result in a temporary Russian defeat that will catalyze Russia's nationalism, the rebirth and set conditions for future victory, the ISW said. Uh, you'd like that, but that's not going to happen. Prigozhin has urged Russians to keep fighting, warning that <coughs> them to ignore elites who want Russia to cut losses in the war per Sky News. What do you mean? Didn't they say yesterday in an article that I covered that Prigozhin said that Russia should say Putin stop the war because we kind of um, uh, accomplished our goals and I said that's BS he wouldn't say such a thing and if he says something like this again how is he still alive and I'm getting I, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting to this quotation if Russia gets to the bottom then it will push off from there Prigozhin wrote adding that it would then float back up like a huge sea monster demolishing everything in its path including the plans of the united states of america well per daily beast okay thank you very much translation here we have who could this be anyway um now we got here johns hopkins schools of advanced international studies mr sergey ratchenko will tell us a few things which uh, is going to make his analysis that i don't care about uh, to be honest with you you can go and read the article if you want um it's uh, when these guys are putting uh, such a, you know, on a pedestal someone, business insider, you know that guy's going to be a weasel. Like, did you hear anything, anything, anything negative said about Brigozin in that article? Anything. Like a little term that was used like a mercenary or chef. They used to make fun that he's Putin's chef that makes his food or something. Like he's, you know what I mean? That's what's implied in other things. So nothing of them. On the contrary, he was idiosyncratic rhetoric and uh, writing style. Uh, okay, so, so he was so you know with symbolism and all the me metaphorical speaking, and um, we couldn't understand it. But Business Insider cleared that up for us because we are, you know what that is, right? Anyway, n not after some of this you can be after some of this but anyway here is my friends um uh, the point here that they try to make is that uh as as of now if ukrainian counteroffensive starts russia will collapse i don't know if that's true or not and we'll find out ukrainians don't really want to uh, conduct a counteroffensive because i don't think they have the manpower and the 
weapons at this point but they're gathering it unless the russians do something and they uh them up in the meantime so thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just